pretty classic tale of two nines there for you. Kind of take me through what flipped midway through to get you all those birdies in the back. Um, you know, this golf course is, it's very unique and it's very difficult. Um, yeah, I know you can hit a lot of good shots and um, be in some bad spots. You know, the margins are just so small and, I, you know, I felt like I did that. I hit a couple wedges, whether it was, you know, three or four yards too far or three yards too short and got penalized for it. Um, I just tried not to press, honestly. You know, I didn't have a ton of great numbers um, on the front. And then on, on, you know, 10, 11, 12, hit three really quality iron shots and um, had three perfect numbers and, and capitalized on that. And then, you know, made a couple of good putts come down the stretch to cap it off. Is this one of those courses that allows you maybe not to press when you start off bad on other tour stops when you know... The winning score could be 20 under at a course like this. Make a couple bogeys to start. It's a place where you feel like, hey, I can still get around back on track. Yeah, it's just a golf course. I mean, you can't step up on the tee and try to make a birdie. Yeah. They, they just kind of come whether, you know, you, you hit a good three-wood or driver or whatever off the tee and you have a good number and you're able to kind of attack a pin. And, you know, there's some holes where, um, you know, like three this morning where I kind of hit a little right. You'd think that's a birdie hole. It's 360 yards and... It just I wasn't in a position where I could make a birdie at all, even from the fairway. So it, you kind of just have to take what it gives you sometimes. It's your first time playing the course, right? This right. week, mm -hmm. right? Um, what's that challenge like? I'm sure that's the way it is for every every week yeah. for you. Yeah. But what's that challenge like? It's tough. You know, you're, you're kind of learning on the fly a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think it's any different than, than any other practice round you're preparing for. It's just a, it's a very demanding golf course that – you have to hit a lot of high quality iron shots, and there's really no uh, there's really no gray area. You either kind of hit good ones, or you're in, you're in a bad spot. So I think that's something that is pretty special about this place. How many practice rounds did you play this week? I played Monday and Tuesday. I didn't play in the pro on Wednesday, but I played I played 18 on Tuesday. So I would imagine this whole year has been such an incredible whirlwind for you. Yeah. Can you describe what that's been like? You didn't expect to turn pro, but obviously the wind changed things. No, um, it's a dream come true. It really is. I. You know, my goal was to be out here. I just didn't think it would happen that quick. But um, I'm very grateful to be here and, and to play, you know, really cool places like, like this place. And, uh, I, you know, I thought it was going to kind of be a little bit of a learning curve early on. And it's hard to tell myself that as, I, as I'm going through the year. But, you know, I'm, I'm quickly seeing what I need to improve on. And, and I knew I needed to improve a couple of things, you know, while being out here and being able to compete week to week. And, um, I feel like I'm I'm finally starting to get a little bit of a grasp on that. What's been the biggest thing you've struggled with in the transition? Um, just learning my schedule week to week. Honestly, you know, it's in college. You, you know, you, you play one week and you have a week off. You can kind of get back. You can work out. You can, you can get what you need to get done for that next week. And you know, when you're out here playing three and four weeks in a row, you have to figure out. All right, I'm going to work out these days. So I'm not sore, but I'm on the road four weeks. So I've got to find some a little bit of time to keep my game sharp, and uh, you know, learn the golf course as best you can uh, week to week. And so I think that's kind of been the the toughest part for me early on. Have you given yourself patience? You feel like throughout the process? No, <laughs> no. I'm a I'm a very hyper competitive person, and, and I don't like losing. Um, and um, I'm grateful to have Hunter on the bag. He's he's been a, a really good voice for me when. Times are going good and bad. And just one other thing. We talked to Jackson Coyvin earlier this week. He said you, he knows you just a little bit. Just your impressions of him obviously getting the start. He kind of ran through college golf this yeah. last year. Yeah, it's super impressive. He, I, I didn't I didn't see all of his stats, but um, obviously, you know, played in the fall and, um, you know, saw that he, I don't think he finished outside the top six or seven, which is very, very impressive. And then, you know, the sweep on the awards. Um and, you know, I kind of I told him he was, he was walking to the chipping green, and he's, I told him I'll see him out here very, very soon. I don't, I don't think there's a, a doubt in my mind about that. Yeah, as a 20-year-old, obviously Jack Nicholas's career was long over by the time you came around. But how much of an appreciation do you have for, for his impact on the game and, and being at his tournament? I mean, a lot. I think record-wise, he's – I don't think any record kind of stands up to his. He's – an icon of golf and um, to kind of be in his little playground here at, at Mirrorfield is pretty cool and to play it to play it during this event not just to kind of play it in, in a recreational round is, is really neat and a, a dream come true for me. And uh, you beat Neil, Neil Shipley obviously in the amateur <laughs> yeah. uh, Ohio State guy. Um, what do you remember about that and, and how much did that help propel you to where you are now? 
Um, a lot. I think that was a tournament that I had circled in the amateur space, and that's the one that I think is above all others. And um, I, I remember kind of playing that a couple times and remembering watching on TV what it was like seeing all those guys come down the stretch. And then, you know, to be able to do that myself was it, – it helped in a lot of ways to be able to kind of try to get comfortable on, on stages like this. You had any milkshakes this week? I had two. Two yesterday. Flavors? Um, I had a caramel and a Buckeye. So I, I, I didn't want to get the Buckeye, but I, I figured I'd probably get it at least once. <laughs> I mean, it's, the, you know, Alabama, Ohio State. I mean, look, you know, I actually cover football. So Ohio State got a couple of transfers from Alabama. I mean, is there like a rivalry? Is there like bad <laughs> feelings from Alabama people? Now? No, no, I don't think so. I think, uh, I mean, it's just kind of the way today works with this portal and NIL and, right. and that kind of thing happens. But. No, I don't. I don't like any team that's not Alabama. I'm a, yeah. <laughs> I'm an Alabama fan. But I mean, what was your plan before you won in January? Did, what was your, you know, long term plan? I guess. Yeah. This year? Um. I you know I think the PGA Tour U does a, what they're doing is in, incredible for amateur and college golf. I think they're giving us a platform to, um, to show our abilities and, you know, right out of college, give us somewhere to play, whether that's Canada or Latin or, or Corn Ferry or out here, and I think. Um, it's starting to be seen that, you know, with, with Ludwig coming out and having the success he did and, and a couple of other guys that the, the top amateur golfers are, are really good. And I'm glad that, you know, the PJ Tour is given that kind of platform to be able to come out and do that. And so I always kind of figured the either that way or, you know, the 20 accelerated points um, like Gordon Sargent did and what I'm sure Jackson will do very, very soon. Um, I, I always kind of thought that was going to be my my path, whether that's in two years, three years, four years, you know, whatever that is, but that, that's kind of what I had, had my eye on. And now to be, again, it's the first round, but still to be, at least last I looked, a co-leader, um, what does that mean? Um, a lot, but, you know, it's still the first day and, and there's a lot of golf out there. So, you, you know, keep your head down. It's, um, like I said, a golf course that demands a lot of good shots and, you know, there's a lot of holes left. So. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, thanks. thanks.